Hello and what is up beautiful people. Today I'll be showing you and be uploading this old archive of mine that has been sitting on my gallery for a very long time and I've been thinking about deleting some of this footage, footage footages <clears throat> excuse me and what would be a good way if now I had the time to edit and upload this video and um, the way I train my lower body nowadays would be the same as shown in this footage. First off, I'll be starting with the hip hinge as it hits the overall posterior chain or posterior part of my body, which would include my back, my spinal erectors, the hamstrings, the glutes, and a little bit of the calves and it it is your basic staple lift in uh getting more out of less weight in a way and providing the most bang out of your buck and i'll be supersetting it with some leg press calf raises alongside weighted leg braces but here you can see as you can see uh, I've been loading up some pretty heavy weights on these leg press machines because as you've all known just like your forearms and your calves and even your upper back in general which would be your trapezius, your rhomboids, even your rear delts. They can handle a lot of volume, a lot of intensity, and they can be trained almost every single day. And as you can see here, I'm trying to focus most especially on the stretch. Some uh, recent studies have been concluding that, or have found out that, um, the group that only focused on the stretch part of the movement of the calf uh, tend to have the most growth although I would not recommend uh, neglecting the uh, squeezing motion or the squeezing part of the movement because in that way you are in a way commanding your targeted muscle in which in this case your calf and I am doing some weighted leg races although I do this really often to seldom seldom to not because I have been focusing lately on um, really isolating the lower abs and not much of the leg muscles because on doing lang hanging leg races whether it could be on the pull-up bar or on the dip station you tend to cheat with the momentum and some muscles on your legs and with doing weighted leg races you tend to cheat because you got the assistance of your supposed or my aforementioned uh, leg muscles and here I am doing smith hack squats as I have learned from Jeffrey Verdi Schofield I never do them nowadays I tend to uh, do heel elevated squats and lunges more often now, not because these Smith hack squats are not that quote unquote optimal or effective based on my anthropometry because for my stature doing regular squats actually activates more of my hips more than my targeted muscles on the squat which I would want my quads to grow on squats but I'm doing Smith hat squats, supersetted here, as you can see, with cable ab crunches, uh, rotation with the weighted decline sit-ups, 
um, as I have mentioned or as I have been telling doing regular squats only activates my hips and not my targeted muscles which would be my, which would be my quads and because of my anthropometry I tend to compensate in lifting heavier weights on the barbell squat with hip thrusting more than knee knee extension as that activates the targeted muscle area which is the quads and here I am actually trying to squeeze out some reps on the pull-ups and my rotation on doing like this is again it's just the same as before I do a hip hinge which would target my overall posterior chain then after that doing some um, a quad focus movement such as a squat or a lunge nowadays I focus on um, doing unilateral exercises whether it could be a lunge a split squat weighted or just pure body weight because I tend to focus more on the uh, bodybuilding side of uh, lifting and I'm trying to fill out those three trunks because again because of my anthropometry I tend to have um, longer limbs in which in turn it's actually hard to feel or oh yes in a way uh, I have more real estate to fill in those gaps that's why uh, having big arms, big thighs, big legs as a tall lifter is very difficult uh, as compared to some of your short lifters. Uh, my fellow short kings and queens, they tend to fill out their limbs uh, that, that very easily in their first year of lifting. As you can see here, I'm trying to flex as hard as I can after doing a set of leg extensions. Again, they're not actually bad as some of these um, optimal gurus, some of these uh, fifth flow answers as they would like to make you believe and try to fear monger you of doing or, or into not doing effective time-tested old school bodybuilding exercises because I've never seen someone who did a heavy leg extension and do not have quads at the same time and look at Tom Platt's the quadzilla the quad father they would like to call him um, also doing leg press um, I rotate it with nowadays with a sing uh, unilateral leg raise as to increase the challenge on one leg to another um, also, if ever I try to rotate it with a heel elevated uh, front squat or sometimes if I don't have the time or don't have the energy to load up a plate or a barbell, sorry, load up a barbell on a squat rack or if I am working out at the peak hours, I actually do some heel elevated goblets. Gob goblet here have it goblet squats and that would be it for today's video if you haven't to sub up on this channel subscribe if you haven't like this video comment down below if you would like to see this type of content on the future and weeks ahead and again thank you for watching and have a good day